Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you enjoy my planty content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Welcome back to all my other subscribers. Thank you so much for returning. I really do appreciate it, especially since I've been gone a little minute, okay? I think it's been like, I don't know, 12, 13, going on two weeks since I've posted. And honestly, I just have not been in the mood to film at all. Dallas is starting to crawl and he is wearing me out. I'm just chasing him all over the place. He's amazing, absolutely perfect, but it is exhausting. And I don't know, I just keep meaning to be like, I'm gonna do my roots, I'm gonna paint my fingernails. Like, I definitely need to do something to make me like feel better and put myself together somewhat, but. I don't know it just hasn't happened yet so I figured I would hop on here today get out of my little I don't know mood whatever I've been in for the past two weeks of not wanting to film and I have some updates I want to show you guys so I figured what we could do is I'm gonna show you guys all my propagations that we chopped up a couple weeks ago things are changing I don't know I gotta look at them because honestly I've just kind of left them and haven't really paid much mind to them then also I'm wanting to chop my Cebu blue so I want to show you guys what I have here is this thing that I thrifted for $3.99 it's like this giant cluster of all these little bud vases and I thought it would be perfect for Cebu blue because they root really well in water and I don't know I just think it's a perfect size I do want to be able to share some plants soon and I don't know I gotta check on the propagation see how they're doing also I have like I don't know three of my Hoyas that are putting off blooms that I want to show you guys so I'm just gonna give you some updates on something we're gonna hang out for a little while I'm gonna chop these up and I don't know I figured I would just bring you guys along with me while I do some planty things so I hope you guys enjoy it Some boy that's you yeah you can see daddy all right so I think the first thing that I want to do is take this to the kitchen and try to get it cleaned off because there's like bugs and a bunch of different stuff in it and take this tape off and chop the Cebu blue what you think you can help me wash it huh see I'm so big so big such a big boy see if I can get this tape off of here hopefully it doesn't leave like a big sticky <gasps> oh no it's not connected what that's weird I guess it was connected well that's it it sits on its own interesting here's it's like a little propagation I'm still probably gonna just set this in there like that okay we're going with it we're going with it. Let me try to clean this. It'll be weird. Like, I gotta fill up each little thing, probably. Here's where this big beauty lives, okay? I'm just gonna chop off a couple branches and just take it to the kitchen to propagate. But my other big crimson princess, that's right here next to me, okay? Here she is, Um, is blooming. She's starting to bloom, I'm gonna show you guys the blooms. I wanna show you guys the blooms, okay? Cause this thing is blooming for the second time now. So here are the first blooms. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. And then this one looks further along. Here are its other bloom. Last time it only bloomed once. And there's two blooms on here right now. So it is loving this light. I'm really excited about them. I'll have to give you guys updates and show you what they look like once they open up.
here's what I got. Let's go to the kitchen and chop these. I have you guys sitting on an ironing board. There's a laundry basket right here. So, all right. So first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is try to untangle this bundle and I'm going to just cut like this and then leave the little discard this little inner node piece and then just do them about this big pretty close to the little node because I want to be able to fit them down in that jar and be able to get them out afterwards so I'm just gonna make a whole little pile of them like so I'm gonna point you guys down anyways how have you guys been I missed you I don't know I feel like is that a new leaf or what is this I think that's a new leaf now I'm going to have to do something with all these little nodes that don't have leaves. Um, I guess I'll just make a pile. Maybe cut too many. <laughs> I maybe cut too many to start. But anyways, I miss you guys. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I could just not ever post and no one would miss me. That's just thoughts I have. <laughs> when you do YouTube, okay? It's just thoughts you have in your head. But um, yeah, what's new? What's new with you guys? Dallas is crawling like literally he's scooting everywhere it is so crazy to me that he is like scooting I had to put up a little fence type playpen thing for him I got him a little playpen and I got a mat because you guys like I used to be able to just lay him on the floor on a little blanket and he would stay there and it would be totally fine I could like cook breakfast I could put him right here in my plant rooms right over here I could put him right there in my plant room and I could, you know, watch him while I like cook and stuff. Now I can't because he can like scoot crawl. It's crazy. He's up on all fours. I'm like, <laughs> where's my little baby? He's so freaking adorable. But yeah, so I had to set up this little playpen area just to be able to like get some things done and not worry about him like, you know, getting into something or hurting himself. Even all the shelves in his bedroom, he's like climbing up and like, pulling things off of them, so. Right, finally done, here's my pile huge pile of ones that are done trash and then nodes so I'm gonna have to put those nodes into something so So we have all our little CB blue cuttings together. They look really good. Now I have this cup full of little nodes and I think I'm going to put them in this propagation. I don't know if I've showed you guys this one before, but here, oh my God, it is so dusty. Okay. So dusty. But here is this little cloche. Okay. Let me put this cloche somewhere away from him. Mm. I need to Windex that, but I'm out of moss, okay? I have not gone to look for moss at all. I don't even know if there's a tractor supply and like one other little place in my small town that I might be able to find moss, but I just don't ever go anywhere and I haven't been by Lowe's and I really need some moss. Um, so I'm thinking about just shoving those down in here. I'm not exactly sure what this is in here. Um, Sam from Sassy and Succulents had sent me some nodes and this is what is sprouting. I think there's some room like there's some room on this side I think I'm just gonna like try to put these all down in here okay that's the idea that's the idea that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna check these boxes though first and see 
or oh I could put them down in that Hoya box I might do that and just leave this one by itself so let me point the camera down all right so I do need to check my big prop box but I haven't opened this one in a while and this is my um Hoya which I'm so excited about I'm about to show you guys updates on that it put out a new leaf and the new leaf has grown to be huge so I could put those nodes down in here this is pretty wet because I haven't opened it but here it is this is my import Hoya and yeah it's doing good they're stuck in there so I know that they are rooting and then let me go ahead and show you guys the actual plant itself so I don't know the nodes would probably do better in this because once they start sprouting they'll have more room than in that like tiny little thing okay. so here is the Hoya is it a macrophylla I think that's what it is so as you guys know I chopped it because it was like shriveling up every single leaf has rooted which is so surprising and this is a brand new leaf right here it has sprouted this new leaf <laughs> and it's grown just as big hold on let me get the baby so yeah so it has sprouted this new leaf I can't believe it I noticed it and then just so fast it just sprouted and became this huge full-size leaf so that is exciting because I lost like half of the plant but I guess I didn't really lose it since I have it rooting so I'll put him back in his little sunny spot mm -mm -mm. All right, so here is my Mikeins. I'm not going to open this because I had seen a gnat in here. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but we're going to set him aside. Then this little thing is so cute. It's got a little baby Albosyngonium. It's sprouted, so that's good. I'm undecided about the perlite, okay? I don't feel like they're really doing good in perlite. All the leaves are dying off. So let's look at this bin. Okay, so here is my perlite node thing. And I don't know, is that mold? I don't know. I think I need to air this out because I think it might be too wet in here. And yeah, nothing is sprouting leaves yet at all. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave everything buried in here. And... Just kind of leave the lid off a little, let some air get to it. This is not a kid safe zone anymore. Your little hairs. Tim getting some little hairs. All right. Um, let's see. They're going to have to go in there with daddy. So I have opened this up and watered it like once, but honestly, like everything that is in the perlite, all the leaves are yellowing and rotting away. Everything that's in the moss, all the leaves are fine. So let me give you an example right here this is in moss it looks good i see roots okay it's got a bunch of roots i don't know if you guys can see here is the same exact plant in perlite and this is what it looks like okay let's go for another example here is this raffidophora it looks good in moss it's got so many roots coming in underneath if you can see and here is every single one of the raffidophoras that I put in perlite looks like this. Okay, all the leaves are completely dying. They look really, really sickly, really bad. Um, it looks honestly like pests, but it's not. I've looked at them. I don't see any pests. So I'm going to pull this out and we're going to see. Oh, I can see it. It's rooting. Okay, it is rooting but I'm gonna have to lose all of the leaves. So it is rooting, which is good, but like here, all the skindapsis, none of those leaves made it, but I can see some little roots forming. So this stuff is rooting in the perlite. Let's see. Yeah, it is rooting, okay? This is the first time I've actually seen roots on anything. The stuff is rooting, it's just the leaves are dying. So I'm not exactly sure what that's about because honestly the rapid of four leaves that are in the moss are all great and when i like i don't know then that's just the node basically like i could have just cut the leaves off and propagated the node the celta pecanas they are rooting as well they look really good um i have two celta pecanas but yeah so every rapid of four basically looks like this and i was wanting to share these but i don't know that looks kind of crappy let me pull this out and see 
so they're rooting okay they are rooting and this one ha is pushing off some new growth but I don't know I'm kind of disappointed that all the leaves have just completely died I don't know if it's light I'm not exactly sure what it is but yeah all the ones in perlite basically have done that every single plant this one hasn't really but it's not in the best condition but it's rooting so I mean it is doing the job it's just I don't know I don't like that the leaves died and the leaves that are in moss didn't die so I don't know what that's about <laughs> this is my first time in um, perlite so yeah I don't know we'll just have to wait and see what happens I'm gonna put his lid back on and scoot him back over here but I do have something else really exciting <laughs> I want to show you guys all right, do you guys remember me complaining and talking about my Albo Syngonium, how I wanted to chop the whole thing up? I put it on this tiny little pole because the big pole was like falling over, which I really need to like tape this pole up to the wall. So here it is. It's like all bald at the bottom. Well, guess what? That leaf right there is brand new. Okay, it finally pushed out new growth and it's pushing out another little leaf behind it. So I'm really excited I didn't end up chopping this. I just gave it some more time and it's beautiful like the variegation is really really pretty all the other variegated leaves that were on here have kind of like died and fallen off except for that one so I am excited about that I do need to just go ahead and add this guy back in my ring light is getting finicky it just went off so yeah it's back on again I do need to go ahead and add this guy in so I might just do that I don't know should I just go ahead and do that this setup is not ideal okay it is not ideal but I don't know I think we might wait to do that until I'm ready to like repot some things so I might as well give you guys some updates on some of the LECA plants so here is this skindapsis this one I had put in LECA it started going downhill okay so I stuck it in this cup with moss and it seems to be really happy in here and I don't know it perked up it's doing good so I did not lose this one. Um, let's go ahead and check these because I need to see if they need water. Okay, that one's pretty good. It still has water in it. This is my bill, billetai, billetie, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, he's doing good in the leka. I think he's happy and perked up. This guy's doing good too. So pretty. Let me check the water. It is kind of like this one probably needs some water. It is kind of like, I don't know, leaned to the side. I wish I would have got it in the LECA better. I feel like I need to add some more LECA on top. Like, it should be deeper up in there. Yeah, it should definitely probably, I don't know, I might have to re repot this thing. It is really dirty. The leaves need to be washed off. But overall, it's really happy and doing good. All right, this guy just needs to be in something else and in, um, is there water? And in like a dome, a little Tupperware. I need to just take this out of here and put him in a cup in this prop box because this is all that's left. <laughs> this is all that's left of my little three king syngonium. Uh, yeah, one little leaf. All the other ones died and it was pretty small. But yeah, there's one <laughs> tiny little leaf hanging on for dear life. So I need to just take him out of here. So my favorite of all is doing great in LECA. This is my Majestic. Take a look. <gasps> look at that. Okay, pushing off new growth. This thing was really tiny when I got it. It was like a couple leaves, like maybe three leaves or the bottom four. It's grown this big long stick. It has definitely put out this leaf and it's pushing out a new one. So yeah, he likes the like of life. He's underneath this bright light and I do just have this little stick in here holding him up. So yeah, he's doing good. I'm so glad. Okay, I'm so glad about him. I don't know. I might need to let him air out a little bit. There, I think there's there's too much water in here. I think there is because this whole top like is still wet. But he's alive. Okay, I got this little. This is the turtle. Love. I don't know how to say it. Labesia or something like that. Turtleback. I got this little dollar store cloche. He's living in. And yeah, here he is. I think. That little end right there is not good. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's melting away. It's too much humidity. So I'm going to take him out of his cloche for a little while, 
this is an end that I ripped so that would explain why it's like kind of looking like that but this leaf it's put out since I've had it and it is kind of curly it's alive okay I'm happy with it because it's still alive <laughs> okay um yeah I'm gonna let them air out for a little while or I need to open these little top things so it can get some airflow but yeah it's still alive here it is then I have my what is it I'm gonna go get it hold on so also from my latest import is this Aglionema picked a tricolor and it's still alive I'm gonna be sending this one to a friend okay it basically almost died like it died on me it was like completely limp and then I stuck it in here and look it's put out so many good roots I hope I'll be able to get these back in here without breaking the roots let me point them down Apparently I need a bigger little vase. So yeah, I had him in Lekka and he seemed to be doing good for a little while. And then I had him in Moss and it was still droopy. So I kind of freaked out and I pulled it out and just stuck it in this little vase with water. And it's been living by my kitchen sink and it's alive. So it's doing really good. Okay, it's doing so good. Also, I want to show you guys something else that's blooming. Okay, you're getting ready to bloom. Yes, so exciting. All right. Let's do that. All right, I'm pretty sure earlier I called that Hoya something wrong, okay? Because isn't this the macrophylla? My brain is not working today, okay? I'm working on, like, no sleep. So, here it is. <laughs> Can you guys believe it? Okay, this long tendril was literally hooked up to this basket up there. It is putting off all these little goop sticky things everywhere. Um, it's blooming okay this is the first time it's going to be blooming i need to give it another pole i honestly want to repot this and put it in something bigger with a bigger trellis like keep what's wrapped around the trellis now and then add one on top or something but let me show you it's little baby blooms okay here's a little peduncle and it's putting off two freaking blooms and then here is the second one let me see if i can find it to show you guys okay where is it Okay, here is the second one. How stinking cute is that? I cannot believe this plant is blooming for me and it's just going crazy. I really need to give it some more support. I wish I had something else just stick in here for the time being because like I said, when I just pulled this down, this was attached to one of a hanging plant above like a basket um, and it's just got all these arms and I want it to continue to grow but I've got to give it some more support. Like I have to do something seriously ASAP but it's just living in this front window it's got the prime spot and yeah it's blooming like what I cannot believe it okay I cannot believe it's blooming it's so dang cute this one's like really touching and I don't know I just don't want it to knock its blooms off I'm gonna adjust it but yeah it's got like sticky sap coming out everywhere but I wanted to show this to you guys because I think I did plant of the month with this plant like I don't know a while ago because I haven't been doing plant in the month lately but it's grown even more and it is just on this bamboo trellis here's the back side <laughs> you can tell which side faces the front but oh my gosh it is like I don't know this is one of my favorites I'm obsessed with this plant and I love it because when I'm outside walking and stuff I can see this from the window it's just sitting in front of the window and it's just mm, so beautiful so yeah I gotta do something ASAP like I might even put, I have some little sticks. Maybe I should do that now. Let me grab the sticks. They're sitting right over here. Okay, so I have these two little skewers left. Should I put these in here and try to clip it up? Because here's some little clips that were in here that I'm sure I can take out. Let's try to do that. I'm going to back up so you guys can see a little bit better. Mm. I kind of feel like I need to put it up front here to make it prop up more. We're going to put them both in. Oh, I see another little bloom. It has another little peduncle. Okay, what's going to happen when I undo this? I get this clip out. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to try to just wrap these up around here right. so 
<laughs> Let me back up. That's got to help. This branch right here needs to go up. I just put those two sticks in here and now all these vines everywhere at least have some support. And I put the little clip on them. Let me show you guys up close. So here's what I did. I just stuck those two clips. <laughs> so all these vines have somewhere to at least go. Um, yeah, I did. I tried not to wrap them a whole bunch because when I put a new trellis, is this going to fall over? This might fall over. Anyways, that way this bloom can come out and not break off. Here's the little bloom. So I'm going to put him back, try to prop him up. This leaf, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, here's this beauty looking so cute. Like, look at the size of this leaf. It's this... The size of this leaf is insane. It's literally the size of my hand. Like, I'm obsessed, for real. All right, so last thing I wanna do is add the nodes into here. I was trying to think if there's any other plants I wanna show you updates on. Um, that's pretty much like everything we worked on on my last propagation video. So, I'm just gonna like, I don't know, dig up, dig up in here and make some, like a little, some space. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle these nodes in. Cause this is pretty wet and then I'm just gonna kind of try to cover them up <laughs> probably could do a better job than this let's be real but I'm out of moss okay I wish I wasn't because I really 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 want to chop up all of my um, skin dapsis argirius they're all in my front porch I have four of them and they're not doing good so I literally threw them out there all on a table. I want to take every single leaf off of them, cut them completely back and put them in a big bin with moss to propagate all the nodes just to see what happens. Um, cause it's just like a bunch of long runners and the leaves aren't looking good and they're all curly and stuff. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm over that plant. I've been over that plant for a while, but I figured, I don't know. I'll put it outside for a last ditch effort. Okay, let's see if I can find another little hole to stick it in. Yeah, these are definitely rooting. I for sure thought all these leaves would die off, but they didn't. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, so I really did not lose this plant. I was worried. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to have like a bunch of little individual Hoya plant. So yeah, they're tight in there. They're rooted for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's little update, chop and prop with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this style video. I hope you guys miss me because I missed you and I will definitely be posting another plenty video soon. Bye. <laughs> Is Daddy making fun of you? Hi, handsome. Such a big boy, yeah. Oh. My big boy. Oh, he's a cutie. Uh, what? Uh. What? Oh my goodness, he's crawling. He's such a big boy. Uh.